check it out. Oh, look how cute. Oh. That is adorable. Oh my, oh. oh my goodness. Okay, what else do we have? Did you find something else? No, I found a bathroom. Oh, even the bathroom is adorable. Look at this. Hold on. What do we have here? Oh my goodness, this one is so pretty too. Oh, look at Oh my goodness. Oh, Lily. Oh, that is so cute. What else do you got? Check the last one now. Oh, and this tied back through over there. Ooh, this one is cool too. Holy cow, I've got like a big box in here. So that was a long travel, but we had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Well, this one was sleeping the whole time. I tried to sleep. He was supposed to talk to me, but he slept. And Not then, very well though. And then Amy, the one, mm -hmm, this one, the one that says, I never sleep on an airplane, was like this. For four hours. Yeah. yeah. It was a half sleep. But mm. you know what? It was awesome because I got some vlogs finished that I was behind on and Kirsten will be super proud of me. But yeah, we just got settled in here in Ortana, Pennsylvania. So we already checked out the training place that Steve has to be at tomorrow at the mm. FEMA facility. Yep. And your training is about? Uh, emergency management and the capabilities that the state of Alaska has to bring to the table during a natural disaster like one of these hurricane michaels or something along those lines where we can do to support the united states and territory and vice versa right and vice versa i think that would be super interesting to yes. see how the u.s comes together and and supports mm -hmm. one another in those times so i'll be curious to see yeah you're gonna have to share with us i will do that so the kids <laughs> and i are gonna stay behind and do some homeschool and i think we're gonna explore everything around here a little bit so we're going to take you guys along and um, I know that Kirsten and the kids and John are taking care of our dogs and I know they were enjoying the first day of snow today. I can't believe that we actually missed the first day of snow in Alaska. That is, that is a bummer. Yeah, but it'll be there for but the next five okay. months. So because be we okay. still have fall <clears throat> colors here. We yeah. kind of went back in time. So that's pretty amazing. It was beautiful out yep. today. Yeah, it was. Sunny and we picked an amazing Airbnb, but I thought we should better show you guys in, in the daylight because we got here when it was dark. So, But we're just going to have pizza, super classy, and just <laughs> visit. And then I think we're going to hit the bed early so this one can be well rested tomorrow. Yeah. Tana and which is about 50 minutes away from Gettysburg so yesterday we were kind of jet-lagged and we decided to just do some school and we went for a walk and just explored Gettysburg just a little bit and now we just found out that there's a super cool farm um, one of the very few remaining round farms and they have a little shop there too so we're super excited to to go check that out Steve is still in class and he should be home in a couple of hours and then we're going to head to Gettysburg with him. But in the meanwhile, I thought, you know, it's beautiful weather outside, the sun is shining, no snow. Sorry, Kirsten. We're enjoying the sun. And so, yeah, so let's go and check out this cool town. Say, good thing Dad has the car, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about this? <laughs> There's your PE hours, Amy. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back and forth. So this little town, Ortana, and all the surrounding villages remind me so much of home. They have the old barns over there, the rolling hills, narrow winding streets, just like in Germany. It is so cute. And apple trees. Apple orchards everywhere. You cannot pick them. These were on the ground. I'm not picking okay. them. That is amazing. Oh, that is so Look at the little rooster. He's like just walking around. Oh, yeah. Somebody 
dream is coming true over here. Beautiful. Ready to check it out? Yes. Let's go. Look at all those apples. One way to keep people from shoplifting. Isn't that funny? Who doesn't want a free ride, right? Yeah. And more apples. Good one for them. This is amazing. Are you kidding me? Could you imagine having a party in here? Look at all the lights. There's twinkle lights everywhere. Look at that construction. Wow. What'd you find? Oh my goodness, look how cute. It that was, was so cool. I, I love his second floor. Yes. The second floor. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Party. Yes. Okay, that was a really amazing experience. Not just the animals, but everything that they produce here. It was like the store was amazing. But now we better head back, make a little picnic. We bought, what did we buy, Daddy? We bought bacon cheddar cheese. And summer sausage. He's gonna be beside himself. So we're gonna head back, make a picnic, and then we're gonna head to Gettysburg and explore some more of the... <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> explore some more of the battlefields. So and monuments. And the monuments. And memorials. And memorials. But now first we have to hike back these lovely <laughs> two miles since as a reminder for anybody that has not noticed, Steve has the car. So he thought it was funny if we have to walk everywhere. <laughs> but it's been actually amazing, especially with a day like this. And with a hawk up there. Look at that. It's beautiful. And the temptation of these apple trees walking by so we did ask the lady what happens if there's a few missing especially those that are already fallen off the ground so hmm so look who made it home well early temporary home is it early yeah see about so, 20 minutes earlier than yesterday. So the kids and I made a picnic. We're ready to head to Gettysburg. And Steve got a super big surprise for us. And the kids will not find out until Friday. So you guys have to stick with us and find out what it is. But I think Lindy is actually going to cry. Probably. I think so. But that's okay. In a good way. In a good way though, yeah. yeah. So yeah. now, off to Gettysburg. Let's go. Right? Yep.
actual sacrifices that were given just for the pursuit of what is right. We are at one of the memorials and it's called the Eternal Light Peace Memorial. And what is amazing about it is look, it's always lit. Yes. The flame on, it's on up there. It's really windy so it's really hard to see. shook hands and said this is our last reunion we had no reason to fight that is amazing Th this was up for um what was it a long time so this particular area was the end of the first battle um, uh, the end of the first day of the first battle of Gettysburg and they had 9,000 Union soldiers and 6,800 Confederate soldiers were killed, wounded, or missing. And this happened July 1st, 1863. And there's seven, six different monuments back here that uh, show different points where the attacks had happened, or the battles had happened. This one got it figured out. It took me like two seconds. I ordered for me and Lily. <laughs> Is that what you do when you lose? We both lost. Are you a loser? I'm not so good at tic tac toe. <laughs> what did you get? I got the Confederate General Robert E. Lee burger. Nice. And delicious. <laughs> and, Lily, and I build a burger with meat, bacon, cheese. 